Hey guys, Mr. V here, finally bringing you a Call of Duty Ghost Q&A video that I promised earlier uh, last week or maybe two weeks ago. I'm not sure. As you might have noticed, I got caught up uh, actually in playing some of the, playing and recording some of the Black Ops 2 Apocalypse DLC footage early uh, as well. So uh, finally, I'm happy to be able to bring this to you guys. So if you haven't checked out my initial impressions of Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer, you guys can just check that out below. Uh, this video is going to simply answer some of the most common and what I think are the most important questions uh, about the multiplayer. If I missed any, it's because I either don't know or there are they are things that have already been answered. Uh, for example, a lot of questions have been asked about you know how does the connection feel. But as you might have heard, the Xbox One and PC has been confirmed to host dedicated servers, so that's obviously going to feel very different. Uh, the rest we'll just have to see when it comes out. So quick note about the gameplay, I'm trying to show off some of the brand new Apocalypse DLC maps. The map pack is now live on the Xbox 360, so you guys can pick that up. And uh, as you can see, I'm practicing some of my snip riffle skills, so you'll have to excuse the lame quick scoping attempts. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into some questions and answers. So OMG VGINY XXX69 and George want to know what is knifing like in Call of Duty Ghost. Is it better or worse and what are the animations like? I think in general it's for the better. Uh, like you guys have seen in the gameplay videos, that new animation I think is going to really help cut down on panic knifing. You also, it appeared to me that you do need to be a lot closer to the enemy in order to actually knife them. I'm not sure if there are different animations between uh, an enemy standing or being prone. I only had the chance to knife somebody who is standing up. Uh, but in general, I think it's much better. Um, yeah, it might look like they're copying Battlefield 3, but whatever, it's for the better and I think it fits perfectly in the game. Especially with the more realistic character movement that is in Call of Duty Ghosts. Stormworm5364 is asking, if Call of Duty Ghost gameplay is comparable to Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 where weapons kill very quickly or more like Black Ops 2 where weapons take a little bit longer, there's a longer kill time. Um, I would say it compared a little bit closer to Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2 where it, it did seem like, uh, at least for me, that I would die fairly quickly in the game. Um, you know, and it is an Infinity Ward game and you do die quickly in those games and I think they are carrying that over to Call of Duty Ghosts. Mega Man 3K brought up a pretty good point about how it appears that there is absolutely zero feedback when taking fire in Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, I do think that this has sort of been an issue in every single Call of Duty title and I don't think it's very different in Call of Duty Ghosts. I really like games like, uh, who, who did it really well was Medal of Honor Warfighter. Being hit in that game really startled you and felt scary and there was a there was some uh, you know screen shake but it was very very quick and again it was just startling and quick but it was over fast and it didn't really affect your accuracy or your spread all that much so I kinda wish that there was better feedback when being shot at in Call of Duty Ghost so I hope I don't know if that's something they will address but I hope it is Beta Phase asked if uh, there will be split screen multiplayer like in Modern Warfare 3 and if there will be the option to vote for a random map like in Black Ops 1 and 2. I don't know if there will be split screen, they haven't talked about that yet, um, but when I was playing I did not see a random map selection, I just saw a choice between two different multiplayer maps. So a lot of people were asking what was Call of Duty Ghost being played on uh, in the footage that a lot of us showed you uh, just after the initial reveal of the multiplayer. It was in fact played on a PC but set to Xbox One specs uh, using the Xbox One controller. And others even asked what was it like using the Xbox One controller. Um, I liked it, I really liked the thumbsticks and the buttons. The only issue I took with it were the angle of which the bumpers and the triggers were set. I felt like they were a little high and pointed a little bit uh, too much towards the ceiling. So I felt like I had to move my index fingers a little bit higher up than I'm used to. Uh, when I would let them rest naturally, 
they ended up just at the very bottom or the tip of the two triggers. So that was maybe my only issue with the Xbox One controller. Otherwise, uh, it felt really nice. The, the fact that the battery pack is gone underneath really gives you more room to, uh, for your fingers to rest underneath the controller. Dairy Games asks what is the respawn system like so far. Uh, you probably saw it in some of the gameplay videos. I did get spawned pretty close to the enemy and uh, vice versa. So, you know, it wasn't the greatest, but that is something that can really easily change between now and the final release, even after it releases. And it probably will change a couple times throughout the game's lifespan. So it's, it's really hard to say, you know, what is it going to be like when it launches. So Dog 810 asks, what are snipers like? They are quite different in this game. As you've all seen, uh, they now can are able to do this uh, sort of dual rendering scope mechanic, which basically leaves your peripheral vision untouched, and only that sec section through the actual scope is what is magnified. So uh, I, I think that's so cool, by the way. It's, I know it's like a silly, it seems like a silly, simple thing to do, but like no first-person shooter has done that. Well, maybe except for one or two, but a lot of like the commercial first-person shooters have yet to do that. Um, so it's kind of cool to finally see that done. It's more realistic and it makes much more sense. Um, quick scoping is still possible, but it feels different, and I think uh, you're gonna have to get used to. You're gonna really have to get used to how the sniper rifles feel before people get really good at it, but th there actually was one moment in the gameplay that I purposely left in our initial videos where I got quick scoped. so I made sure to leave that in there so you guys could see that it's still somewhat possible. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to kind of see what that turns into in the final release. Nemesis96 asked a pretty good question about the ability to customize your character to more clearly show your clan or sort of your clan colors or emblems. There are clan um, symbols in the game uh, that actually adopts the exact same system like Black Ops 2 with their emblem editor. Um, that's not available for any of the player cards, but for your clan symbols it is. Um, when it came to customization of your actual character though, it didn't seem like there, was, there were many options for that. Um, but I'm... I'm betting that they will eventually let you be able to slap on your clan emblem onto your weapon, but uh, yeah, other than that, it didn't seem like there were very many options to show off your clan pride. XB7, can you still head glitch? No idea. Wasn't able to try that with anybody. Uh, I know it's a huge issue though for a lot of people, and um, seeing that it is still the same engine, just heavily upgraded and modified. I'm willing to bet that it's still there, but uh, I could be completely wrong. Hopefully it's not. So another kind of geek inquired about killstreaks, if they're any different or how do they work, are there any less or more of them? I, I think it's in terms of their frequency, it's going to be about the same as Modern Warfare 3. Uh, but they are luckily not as air-based like Mark Rubin said in his uh, video presentation of the multiplayer. So they're a lot more ground-based. So, for example, was the uh, SATCOM, which is now now replaces the UAV. It's something that needs to be placed on the map, which means it's it requires a little bit more player involvement, and it's also something that can be shot down much quicker. Uh, and that brings me to another point. In the comments, a lot of people were mentioning the abundance of SATCOM callouts, and I'm just gonna say that that's simply due to the fact that. I think we only had about three or three to five kill streaks available when we were playing Call of Duty Ghost. So a lot of us, of course, would choose the SATCOM. Uh, when the game actually launches, I'm sure you'll, we'll see a little bit more diversity. So you're not going to hear people yelling out enemy SATCOM over and over and over again. So I think that about does it for Call of Duty Ghost questions. If there's anything else that I did not cover that you guys are dying to know, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, you can even hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Veselka. And be sure to check out my initial Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer impressions. Uh, if that's it, I'll catch you guys later. Until then, keep your sights on MP first.